has done. So first of all, I would just like uh, for you guys to share with us uh, your names and where you guys come from. We are the Ulluingbao family from Olympia, Washington. And where are you from originally? Originally from the Fiji Islands, uh, otherwise we were educated in Australia, but uh, this is our new home now. Amen. Well, you're very welcome in Jesus' name. So can you tell us what is the problems, the, the few problems that your family was facing um, and just really just describe for us how those particular things affected your lives your, and your family as a whole. Oh, my goodness. There's a whole lot of problems. But uh, we thank God for his goodness and mercy that nullifies and muffles all those problems that we call problems. Um, you know, God is good. Uh, but something is significant in our lives, uh, I guess, is a family. Um, my son, when he was born, he was uh, diagnosed with asthma. I was uh, sort of uh, educated in the health uh, background. But uh, knowing that and also knowing the, the grace that God has uh, given freely to the world, I sort of uh, lean more towards that. And uh, one day when the, he was diagnosed back uh, in our home country, but when we migrated here, we were seeing the doctors here, so he was going through the follow -up, normal follow-ups. But um, eventually, it was sort of uh, depressing at some stage, even though I'm a believer. But you know, someday we need to really dig deeper into the Word to, to bring out the gift that God has given us, to trust in Him the more. Then one day, we were sort of watching Prophet T.B. Joshua, and uh, through that uh, channel, we get to know a hungry generation. And... Uh, uh, noted the anointing water that Prophet Tibu Joshua sent over. So we decided, uh, believing and you know, knowing that there are other living churches around, but there are those whom God has literally given the grace, sort of uh, wonderful things to individuals around the world to bring Jesus was the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, people today need to see that physical, some people, they want to see the results of God being yesterday, today, and forever. And uh, coming here to Young Hungry Generation, it's a humbling process. We need to humble ourselves and believe that God is using Hungry Generation and other living churches around our neighbors to magnify his only name. So um, we decided to bring Genesis over so about seven years now, seven, seven to eight years he was suffering us so bad, and uh, one day we just have to put our foot down and say, no, we got to go to hungry generation and get connected to uh, those uh, wonderful people and uh, believing in God for his healing. So you mentioned that Genesis was born with asthma. You came here about seven years ago to receive prayer for his healing. But can you just tell us what were the kind of things that he couldn't do because of this asthma? And how did it affect you even as a father to see your son suffering that way? Obviously, with asthma, often they have uh, physical limitations, shortness of breath, and uh, often very depressing for the young people with very high metabolic rate, They're often very physically active. But then you have your elder son who is very depressed, uh, inactive, and uh, sort of uh, short, shortness of breath almost every night, uh, needed uh, nebulizers and all sorts of uh, healthcare equipments to keep him uh, going every day. So you can see behind us the pictures here of the family when they came. You could see that uh, young Genesis, I don't know if we have any of the other pictures where he has his nebulizer and the, and the different things that he had to use in order to be able to just function as a small child. And like he said, you know, we understand that you're a doctor and, you know, to be able to see your son that way and, and not be able to see him act like a normal child, you know, and you decided to come to Hungry Generation for an answer. What happened uh, during that Sunday when you brought your son here? One thing is uh, we made a decision then to come over, so just connecting and just, uh, I mean, uh, it was, uh, one thing is wonderful just to know that that place, he is going to be healed. So we have to nullify every doubts and every questions and just pick up yourself and go. So we did that. When we came here, um, I guess it was already done within the spirit. We said, no, we, we're not going back with your asthma. We're going back healed. So through the testimony, uh, pastor and the team always gather the people around here. So they went on the line, the routine line, if you have seen the videos. 
and uh, I guess the, the, you know, it's God's time to do his work. We've uh, done the, our beating just believing it's a freely gift to have. It's a wonderful gift. And uh, thereafter, it was his history. So seven years now, he is a healthy young man, and uh, hopefully he can uh, continue his life thereafter. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Genesis, can you come here for one second? So Genesis, when you came here seven years ago, you were just a small boy, and now you're a much bigger boy. And uh, seven years later, can you tell us how are you feeling now, and how has life been for you since you received that healing? Good. <laughs> From his own lips. So Genesis, can you do me a favor? Can you just take a really deep breath into the microphone so that we can hear the goodness of God through your breathing? Amen. And Genesis, what are the things that you can do now that you couldn't do before when you were a small boy? Uh, run and play. Can you just really quickly for us, can you just run right down the middle of the aisle and run all the way back for us? Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. 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 Genesis, can I ask you one last question? How do you feel after you've done that? How, are, how is your breathing? Good. Amen. <laughs> Amen. What a wonderful testimony from this lovely family. But wait, there's more. So uh, can you come to this side over here? So first of all, uh, can you tell us your name? Um, Saini Uluimbao. Okay, and so we understand that your son is actually not the only one who received a miracle. Tell us a little bit about the problem that you were have, uh, having for how long you were suffering with it. Well, back in 2013, I was diagnosed with uh, tuberculosis. So as soon as after I gave birth to my second son, Ezekiel, um, so I started, you know, showing signs of the symptoms. Um, and how it affected me, it just drained energy out of me. So the simplest of things, one, two, three steps, I would get so tired. Um, I wouldn't be able to cook. I couldn't even play. I just felt hopeless. I felt helpless. And, you know, somewhat ashamed that I had that. And so we understand that at that point, your son had already received healing from asthma that he had had for five years. And at that point, what was your faith prompting you to do once you had realized, yeah, I'm done suffering with this tuberculosis, per tuberculosis, I don't want this anymore. What did your faith prompt you to do? Well, um, we're a family of uh, believers. Uh, we're, we always believe in Jesus Christ. And I, however, um, you know, with every situation, I know for a fact that God speaks through our situations. Um, so I didn't lose hope. And I have a prayerful husband that prays over our situation. He prays over, you know, day and night. He's always on his knees praying over our, um, each and every one of our family. And I'm so thankful for that. Amen. That's a testimony just in itself. Praise the Lord. Amen. Um, so um, when I came to the uh, Hungry Generation, I got prayed by um, the pastor. And then, uh, you know, they uh, sprayed the anointing water on me. But even before that, just taking the step and saying, yes, we're going to Hungry Generation to receive our healing, uh, that step of faith, um, I know for a fact within me, I knew that I would be healed. Um, and the nurses, they gave me a span of time during the time they were giving shots every week. Um, and they said, you know, it'll take you so and so time for you to be healed with all this medication and all that. But it took me less than half of that um, to be healed. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. So I remember before that you had said that you were even quarantined and you couldn't be near your children. Can you just explain how that affected you? It was somewhat shameful. Uh, I was a prisoner in my own home. I wasn't allowed to go anywhere or be among people. Um, you know, I was just there. The nurses came home. I wasn't even allowed to go to the hospital and take medication. They had to come to my home and uh, give me the meds. Um, it was, it was just a hopeless situation. It was horrible. 
Um, but I know for a fact that when God healed me, he not only healed me physically, he uh, took away the memory of the pain and suffering that I went through. Amen, amen. Let's put our hands together for our wonderful miracle working Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. God is truly an awesome God. And lastly, we just want to ask you, now that you have received this healing, God has completely healed your body, healed your son of the asthma that he was suffering with, and even delivered you from the memory of the pain that you guys were having. What is your advice to people who have come here today, maybe from far, or people who are watching online who are really believing God for an answer in their life? How can you encourage their faith today? So being sick is not a good, um, it's, not a go it's not a good feeling, no matter whether, whether you have tuberculosis, cancer, or whatever. It's just not a good feeling. Um, but I would advise that keep the faith, never lose hope. You focus your eyes on Jesus. Don't look to the left, don't look to the right, just look to Jesus as your um, healer. Um, and that's a quote from my little nephew in New Zealand. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Let's give it up for this wonderful family. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. Let's give them a round of applause as they go back to their seats. Thank you for watching this content. I know this was a blessing to you. We would like to ask you to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell on our channel so that each time we upload something, you can be notified. Don't forget to share this content with your friends and family and on social media. We're so thankful to you. Better is not good enough. The best is yet to come.